what is going on everyone so it is day 14 of the daily ui design challenge so the goal for the day was to create a countdown timer and i wanted to go with more of the movie trailer style website countdown so i went with the scary theme and essentially i came up with a bunch of different styles and colors I ended up going with this one I'll show you in just a second, but essentially I wanted to go more of with uh, making sure that the colors are actually illegible to be read on multiple devices and other people as well. So first off, I had like a pretty much the red, it used to be all white and I changed it to just pure white. And then I was like, all right, let me try something else. So I went over here, I made it all red, but I know that if I were to run this through the color contrast check, that this definitely would not pass and I mean it looks pretty cool to me but um figured I just want to make it to where it's a lot easier for people to read but overall this is probably my favorite one but I'm not going with this one because of the way it's it's just gonna be very hard for some people to see this because it's such a similar color to the background then here I kind of did with the white here but then I ended up keeping the coming soon word but I can tell I know that that's not gonna pass so I just changed it back to ending off with this design right here so let me go into figma and show you guys what i made all right so now we are in figma and this was probably as far as the basics the background the design wasn't too difficult however me trying to come up with different colors and styles took a while but overall this was probably the easier i'd say designs because i didn't have to really make anything from scratch so essentially the background is just the image so you can see here i literally just put the image here i close it i did leave a linear uh gradient on the background so that I can add a little more tweak but if you're let me show you this images it's a hundred percent so the background is almost doesn't even matter I had it on 90 but it just looked kind of off to me and I had tried 60 as well but I just didn't like the way it was like too kind of too dark the actual image I found was like the perfect color for this so I figured I just keep the image for this one so nothing too crazy but I did try testing out with the background linears to see what looks better and then one thing I did do is um when I did 60, I made the linear to make sure that it was like all red right here. Because if I didn't, it wouldn't look as, let's say, like this dark. But that's something trick I was doing earlier. But let me go back to what I had originally. And then for the text, so you're probably wondering if this is your first time, by the way, on the channel. I'm basically documenting myself doing UX, UI design. So if you want to, you can subscribe down below. But um, if this is your first time learning... I would say this part right here isn't just normal text. Essentially what I added is over here on the uh, right side under effects. I put an inner shadow and I put the um, the blur was six, Y was four, 25%, this is the color. And again, I mean, you can play around with these. You don't have to be exact the same, but this is just what I did for this exact design right here. And I did drop shadow. So when you're doing this, make sure you do the drop shadow first and then do whatever I put here if you want to copy this and then hit plus sign and then change it to inner shadow. Cause if you do it the opposite way, it's gonna look a lot different than what I currently have. And if I zoom in, you can see it's like kind of like a glowing type color. And then coming soon is a, uh, it's literally just linear with uh, white and then it's just uh, white, but the, uh, put on 69. So like you can drag and drop here, but it's not like fully 100%. So it kind of has like a grayish effect to it. Grayish white and then also like the, um, Kind of look it's a little red because it's coming through from the background but yeah it has like a little grayish white there and then coming to the countdown it's just a uh i put originally the number text right here and then i wrote the text underneath it group that together and then uh group these all four together and then this is simply the same concept where i had the drop shadow here i originally had inner shadow so let me show you what happens when i click this because i took it off because um so if you click this it looks like that now I had it originally like that, but uh, as far as like design wise, it could be hard to read. Also, if you had to program this, it might be you know annoying. But I don't know the um, complications on programming. But overall, it's pretty uh pretty simple. It's your drop shadow, and then these are the uh, blurs right here with the uh, percentage, and then the same goes for here. And then last thing, I had a button. I just want to add something so that if uh, you know this is like a let's say it's a website launch, you could join the list, or if it's like a movie trailer, you know join the notify me whenever it releases and essentially that's the concept behind this design so pretty simple pretty basic this is just a uh 
a linear here right, as well. And there's the color for the first one and then the second one here. So this pretty much sums up the design for the day for the countdown timer. So if you did enjoy this, go down below and hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. Comment down below what you think and I'll see you in the next